The examples we've seen so far have been relatively simple molecules. And as the molecules become more complicated, we need more bonding theories to explain how the bonding actually occurs. So the first one we're going to look at is called the Lewis structure. The Lewis structure is for covalently bonded chemicals and it involves a series of steps. And the first step is to find the skeletal arrangement. In other words, we want to put the more electronegative elements on the outside and those are called terminal atoms. The less electronegative atoms are in the middle, those are called central atoms. Usually these will be symmetrical and we'll see this with examples in a minute. Step number two is count the valence electrons. Only the valence electrons are part of the bonding so it's important not to count all of the electrons. If the chemical has a charge you either have to add or subtract an electron whether, depending on whether it is an anion or a cation. Step three connect the terminal atoms to the central atoms and it takes always two electrons to make one bond. Then step four satisfy the octet rule and this octet rule is really the group 18 noble gas stability that we already have talked about. Satisfy that octet rule for the terminal atoms first and then satisfy it for the central atom second. Step six, if needed, rearrange the electron pairs and we'll talk in more detail about why that would have to be done. And then step seven, if you have any extra electrons, they always go on the central atom. So for example, NH3 is ammonia. The most symmetrical way that you can arrange one nitrogen and three hydrogens is to put the nitrogen in the middle. So this is the skeletal arrangement. Nitrogen has five valence electrons and each hydrogen has one valence electron. So there's a total of eight electrons to put in this picture. We're going to represent the electrons as dots. So the first thing we do is connect the terminal to the central by putting two electrons between them. Then we satisfy the octet rule for the terminal atoms. Hydrogen is satisfied because hydrogen with two electrons has reached the stability of helium. Then we want to satisfy the central nitrogen. Right now this nitrogen has six electrons around it. It wants to have eight to reach the octet rule and we have exactly the right number, two electrons left to give the nitrogen its octet rule. Then what we want to do is replace bonding electrons with a single line. The electrons on the nitrogen are non-bonding electrons. Those are also called lone pairs and the non-bonding or lone pair electrons are going to stay in the picture. So we end up with a nitrogen with one lone pair single bonded to each of the three hydrogens. 